Hello, I'm Antonio Mora. This is the newsandnews.com day in brief. Today's top stories in four minutes. It's Wednesday, August 8th at 6.30 p.m. Five states held elections of various sorts on Tuesday, and you could discern all sorts of trends. Women candidates are doing well. Democratic socialists, not so well. If you were running in a Republican primary, you were better off with Trump support. And while Republican candidates are winning special elections, they are barely squeaking by with much smaller shares of the vote than what Trump won in 2016. So Democrats walk away hopeful that there is still the possibility of a blue wave in November, Republicans that they will be able to hold the fort and retain a small minority in the House. But the biggest takeaway is that Barack Obama's famous speech at the 2004 Democratic Convention notwithstanding, there are two Americas rural America and urban America. And the battle for the majority on Capitol Hill is going to be waged in between, in the suburbs. The Democrats have won the cities. Just look at the most high profile race this week, the special congressional election in Ohio. The closer you were to downtown Columbus, the higher the percentage of votes for the Democrat. But the Republicans have won the country. The farther you were from the city, the higher the percentage of GOP votes. The suburbs stopped being cool as far back as I can remember. But in the world of today's politics, the suburbs are now the prom queen and the high school quarterback rolled into one. In other news, Chris Collins, the first congressman to endorse Donald Trump, was indicted on insider trading charges. He is accused of using insider knowledge to tip off others that a drug trial had failed so they wouldn't lose money invested in the drug company that produced it. Collins was on the company's board and ironically lost millions himself. He denied the charges, but he's already been kicked off the House Energy and Commerce Committee. The Trump administration has added more sanctions on Russia, stemming from the poisoning in the UK of a former Russian spy and his daughter. Earlier this year, the US expelled 60 Russian diplomats as part of the global response to those poisonings. Trump's lawyers have rejected Robert Mueller's latest terms for an interview in the Russia investigation. They reportedly countered with a narrower proposal that would exclude questions about obstruction of justice. Seemingly worried, Trump could perjure himself. The lawyers are inclined to reject an interview altogether. Trump, on the other hand, keeps saying he can convince Mueller he's innocent and that they should continue negotiating. But Rudy Giuliani again said, it is time for the office of the special counsel to conclude its inquiry without further delay. And if your hopes were up that North Korea was no longer a nuclear threat, as Trump tweeted after his summit with Kim Jong-un, you might want to tone them down. Not only is North Korea not going to denuclearize anytime soon, it has reportedly rejected U.S. proposals to cut its nuclear arsenal by 60 to 70 percent. Even if they had accepted, how good would that be? Sure, it's better the North Koreans have fewer nuclear weapons, but is anyone going to sleep safely knowing they still have some? In our daily alternate universe segment, the great divide between conservative and liberal media was extremely predictable in the aftermath of Tuesday's voting. On the left, everyone is talking about how the results were great news for the Democrats, diminishing any positive effect Trump had on the candidates he supported. On the right, the focus is on highlighting how Trump makes a huge difference in elections and how candidates supported by the left wing of the Democratic Party fared poorly. The spin on both sides could leave you dizzy. Finally, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences said it is creating a new category to honor achievement in popular film. Not sure how there will be any suspense there because whatever film made the most money would pretty obviously be the most popular. But it is good to see the Academy celebrate the wisdom of the crowd and acknowledge that its members off too often choose movies as best picture that most of us would rather not see. You can find all those stories and much more updated around the clock seven days a week on newsandnews.com where you will find all you need to know in one place. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right of your screen just below this video. Please follow us on Facebook at Real News and News and me on Twitter at AmoraTV. I'll see you again tomorrow.